my name is Jay Jackson. I'm 0-2 and, and I'm from Bay City, Michigan. I'm fighting Bobby Nash, August 15. I've been training great. Uh, I've been training about a good five, six days a week. Um, I've been working. I've been working out everywhere. Um, been working, really working my wrestling, jujitsu here. I've been working my conditioning, Olympic lifts with uh, next level, uh, next level fitness in Saginaw. And um, I've also been doing just a, just a lot of track work and a lot of uh, conditioning. Jump in again, man. Go, go, go! Pull, 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 pull. There you go. My plan for Jay Jackson is for each minute of each round, just put the pressure on him, throw punches, takedowns, to be a very versatile fighter, and uh, let him just basically feel the wrath. Good punches, get those punches, get those punches. Good. Um, I see this fight going anywhere. Um, I fought Bobby Nash for my uh, second King of Cage appearance, and he took the win. Um, I'm looking, really looking forward to this rematch. I've been training for this fight forever, and um, I'm, I'm going to bring it. That's you know that's that's what I do in all my fights. So I'm going to put on a good show, but I do see me getting a W. What I know about Jay Jackson is August 15th, he's going to lose. Um, I don't know too much about him. I know I think he likes to stand up. I don't think he has any ground game. I think if I take him down, I'll be able to finish him uh, at any time. Um, I'm confident whether it's on the feet anywhere. Um, I just know August 15th, I'm coming to win. I'm coming to bang. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Uh, bring it, you know, because uh, that's what I'm going to do. August 15th, I'll be ready. Jay Jackson, be ready, because I'm coming to tear you up. Of the 15 minute limitations. Put your yeah. hands together for the blue corners. Jay Jackson. You know, I, I've been around both of these guys so long. I used to do a lot of refereeing up north for Big John shows, Crystal's shows, and uh, I've seen Jay Jackson get started when he was just a heavy handed guy, and he's still heavy, heavy handed, but he's really starting to polish up his, his uh, striking as well as his takedown defense. So, you know, I, I'm stoked to see how far he's come because knowing this matchup, I'll tell you this, for a 170, he hits hard, like on a whole nother level. Yeah, Jay Jackson is a brick, and uh, yeah. we have another rematch from the amateur ring. Yeah. And I can guarantee you, Jay learned a lot in that first fight, and uh, he's been working his wrestling. Uh, he's been working his cardio and knows what uh, Bobby Nash is capable of. And, he, and he's going to do everything within his power to ensure that uh, he uh, gets some revenge from uh, the loss that he took at the amateur ranks. Yeah, I said this before uh, talking to other people. Right now, Jay Jackson is 0-2. And he is about as scary of an 0-2 fighter as you're ever going to get. Uh, because I'll tell you this, if you don't put him on his back, he is incredibly dangerous and from everywhere. Introducing to you his opponent from the red corner. Please put your hands together for Bobby Nash. Yeah. Speaking his of opponent, extremely dangerous. Yeah, I, you know, if there's a guy who can put everybody on their back, that has to be Bobby Nash. Yeah, Michigan State wrestler Harley came off a four-round war with Willis Black. I mean, such a, uh, you know, an impressive performance. Willis Black, one of the you know, most de uh, highly up and coming uh, welterweights, and Bobby Nash uh, took him to its breaking point. Uh, Bobby Nash is a yeah. grinder, man. I cannot. The, one of the things that I that I'll say about Bobby, I remember me training with uh, Corey Cuppy, Connor Cuppy, and the and, and the Jack the Tan fight team, and uh, Bobby Nash and, and Corey Cuppy had an epic, amazing, outstanding fight. And Corey almost had him in a triangle. There's one thing with with, uh, with Bobby Nash. There's no no finishing him. Like you have to seriously kill him to finish him. He's that tough. And you know that comes back to that what we were saying about Devin. I mean these are wrestlers, man. Yep. They have this no quit attitude that's built in wrestling rooms when nobody's watching, and these guys go to war against one another. I can guarantee yeah. you, Bobby went to war at Michigan State, and he's ready to go to war tonight. 
Yeah, there, I'll, I'll say that people always ask me, well, you know, how come wrestlers have such high success ratio in MMA? And I'm, I'm like, have you ever seen them practice? <laughs> Their practice is a war. It is absolutely relentless. And I'll tell you this, if there's any weakness in you, it will be exposed there. And on the highest level, Ladies and gentlemen, the following competition is in the 170 pound division. It is now time for your Warrior Extreme Cage Fighting for introductions. The following contest is being brought to you this evening by I Am Detroit Clothing Company. Thank you so much for being a part of this fantastic fight night with Warrior Extreme. Introducing your fighters. First, fighter to my right. Tonight, he is on the GNC Blue Corner. Wearing the white trunks, trimmed in black and red, he comes to us at 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 170 pounds, with a background in boxing. He will be looking for his first victory here tonight on behalf of every victory earned, John Shook and the Michigan Fight Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jay Action Jackson! His opponent across the cage, man to my left. Tonight, he is on the Larry Vince Hustler Club corner. Standing also at six feet inches tall. Excuse me, six feet exactly. He comes to us at 170 pounds exactly. Making his professional mixed martial arts debut this evening on behalf of Matt Torres and East Lansing Underground MMA. Here is Barney Miles. Say hello to the lovely Liz. I don't know how you do it. I am so stoked to see this. Jay Jackson is a brick house. Bobby Nash is a monster. No touching gloves. Whoa. Bobby Nash said, I'm going to show some striking off. Yep. That, is, that is the ticket. There we are, yep. One thing with, with Jay is he's really good at getting back onto his feet. There we go, right away. Yeah, immediately. You called it, Harley, working for that guillotine. Yeah, the guillotine, and he got right back up to his feet, and this nice. is not a good spot to be for Bobby. I mean, Bobby's got strong stand-up, but, but, but Jay, this is Jay's, where Jay wants to be. Desperately, Jay wants to be here. Yeah, I think this is going to be, you know, a microcosm of what this fight will basically be. Can Jay stay standing? Can Bobby put him on his back and grind him out? Yep, I absolutely agree. Now I'll say this though: I've seen Bobby Nash put people sleep standing up too. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything about that uh, his stand up. He's obviously very very sharp, but at the end of the day, you know, Division One wrestler, that's where he wants to be. And we're 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 right where he wants to be again, aren't we? Trying to find a. Uh, See that he had opportunities for submissions there, and, and I don't even know if he saw him. Jay, Jay did. This is if you know that you're going to get taken down because of your hands, you just have to work your back game so much more. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, um, based on the interviews we've uh, had with Jay, Jay's talked about he's been working his uh, jujitsu for sure. Uh, but it, you know, it's so tough to to submit one of those next level wrestlers yeah. if you haven't been putting in. I mean, not months, but you know, honestly, years. Yeah, on Cor your Cor back. Corey Cuppy is a high end uh, jujitsu guy, and if he didn't get the submission out of you know, who's got years in on this? Watching that back of the head there. Jay's back on his feet where he wants to be though. See the mark from that leg kick already on Bobby Nash's left thigh. Yeah, that was chopping. I mean, and you know, as the fight gets uh, deeper, uh, you know, into these these rounds, potentially That's money in the bank. Yeah, especially for a wrestler like uh, Bobby Nash, who you know is dependent upon those legs to have explosive, uh, deep penetrating shots. Yeah. Jay's doing a good job trying to get out of. Prob trouble, but this is this is Bobby Nash's world. You know, this is the you know everybody says that you know the lion might be the king of the jungle, but throw him in the ocean and he's just shark food. And, and right here, you know, we see the lion in the in, in in the puddle, and it's not a good place to be. No, that's an excellent uh, that's an excellent point. 
Um, you know, Bobby, this, he had some devastating ground and pound, and this is the exact place where, uh, he, you know, he broke down Willis Black from. Yeah. And, you Relentless know, plenty of plenty screen. other guys he's come across. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a guy who, who went pro undefeated amateur. That that's that's, that's something just 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 realized he fought everyone in the amateur ranks and nobody stopped him. Yeah, we're not talking cupcake opponents. We're talking no. some of the toughest guys, you know, at the one seven at one seventy in the entirety of the state. Yeah, Corey Cup, who's now two and zero as a pro, was a victim of Bobby Nash's, and and that, that and I know they're good training partners now, and I don't know if they either would want to take the fight today. Oh, he's working here. He's working on that choke, but Jay's doing a really good job. There. Oh! Jay's a very, very strong guy, and that is helping him a lot right now, but... Yeah, that's a tough spot with the body triangle, yeah. triangle as well. Jay one squeezed of the, out of there, though. That was yeah, one of the things that we got to remember, too, is Bobby's never gone a three, five-minute round fight. Uh, and uh, oh wow! He's got he, him standing. He, oh, that's over. He Beautiful. got up to his feet, but he couldn't get any further. Bobby Nash with a first round victory. Uh, very impressive victory for his first pro fight, and taking on a very dangerous opponent. Hats off, Bobby Nash. You are the man. Yeah, Bobby Nash, excellent control. Um, coupled it with his jujitsu. Uh, you know, Jay Jackson was game. Did everything that he could to, you know, try to to try to minimize his uh, Nash's effectiveness, but uh, just a different world when you're on the ground with a with a you know yeah, the I mean, quality of a grappler like a Bobby Nash. Yeah, he's a whole nother level. And the thing with him is, you have to you have to honor his striking, which is the scary part. So, you know, Bobby Nash is going to be a scary dude at, at 170 in the pros, not just in the amateurs. And uh, I'll tell you this. The scariest 0 and 3, 170 might be Jay Jackson. 12 seconds in the first round. Your winner by way of rear naked Um, and for everyone coming out to talk.